So the first thing I had to do was get a key made because the steering wheel was locked and we couldn't tow it. Then it went straight to a mechanic. It only sat for about 10 years or so, 15 perhaps. But it was um, taken care of overall as far as sitting goes, covered up. That's all the dust that accumulated over the years. And this is me from the trailer driving it up into my driveway. First time in many years. And the horn even worked out super cool. What do you think, Hippo? You like it? You like the new car? You like the new bus? Checking out the bus. What do you think, Anders? Pretty cool, huh? Doing a little walk around of it. This one's pretty nice, man. Showing my little boy, Anders. What do you think? He's excited. He loves riding in these buses. I like it. Old or new. You like it? Clean or dirty. <laughs> so from this it's point, it's pretty dirty inside have... though. We can't go in yet. We'll have to clean it. No. Yeah, we have to clean it first. But once we clean it, we'll go for a ride. Sound good? What do you think? This looks cool. All right, cool, cool. Let's go. Hey man, Dropped it, it off at a local guy, does paint, uh, does a really good job of paint as well. So we dropped it off at him. He started doing all the body work, sanding it down. Here's just a little walk around of how it looked on the inside when we got it before cleaning, before a new tent. Came to visit again, seeing how the body work was going. I thought I'd do in another interior video of it. Overall pretty clean, pretty original. Not too bad. I mean, we're talking a new tent, so new curtains. Putting all these things back together, possibly cleaning the interior, steam cleaning the carpet. I believe that driver's seat was taken under the new poster. And here's some walk around of some of the body work that was necessary. It had a lot of these like pitted rust spots. You can kind of see here and uh, that needed to be all sanded down to the metal so it's kind of getting there at this point in the video but still a lot more sanding to do very solid bus though overall as far as i know it's only in california so that's always nice He was working on this for about a month, just about every day. Needed a lot of work. So now it's got uh, a lot of the prep work done, some primer on it. Still going at it as far as body work goes. A lot of sanding. And finally it was painted and I towed it home. I believe this is the first day of it actually being home. Pulling it off the trailer. Just doing a walk around of it. Soon we'll put the windows in, all the trim, the new tires, new tent, new window rubbers. All the interior be cleaned out very well. Look at that. That's a little bit of a brand I like called Meguiar's. Cleans very well. And here it is, the uh, interior. Put a new tent on it. There should be another video link of the tent insulation that I did. Feel free to check it out. This was one of the first drives. We took it down to PCH and Huntington Beach. We live in Orange County, California, so it's not too far of a drive. 
Just a nice little cruise down Beach Boulevard. Warming it up in the morning. Loading up. And ready to go. It's come a long way from parked on the side of someone's shop to now clean and shiny and ready to run another 30 plus years. Here we are going down, I believe this is Beach Boulevard to PCH at Huntington Beach. Gonna go ahead and make a left here, go towards Costa Mesa, do that run. Great little drive. Beautiful 1978 sage green, pop top Westy, back to life again. This one came out incredible. I knew underneath all that dust and some rust and old withered windows that there would be something really great. Came out nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have plenty more videos of similar back to life restorations. Hope you enjoy. Like, follow, share, subscribe. I appreciate it, especially if you love buses. Plenty more. Thank you.